In this video, we'll learn about the topic named as variables. Variables are basically names of your memory in your location, which will hold certain values. When I say certain values, it can be anything, text, numbers, or you have date and time, it can be object. So basically variable will hold some values into that and that is nothing but a name of your memory location. So let us see that. I'll tell you why memory, why we need the variables into our application. What is the use of it? So first thing is, I'll just show you the file which I've created. That is Excel VBA building codes. The name of the sheet is sheet one. Okay, so I'll go to this developer tab and click on this visual basic. I can explain you the usage of variable with the help of macro. Okay, so in this place, what I've done is I've created a module named as variable usage. Now in that module, I've written a macro. So if you see sub procedure variable usage and I've written something at the bottom, if you see it's very simple code that is range a1 dot value equal to tutorials range a4 dot value equal to tutorials range a9 dot value equal to tutorials. So everywhere if you see the tutorials what is repeated every now and then. So imagine if I want to write the same thing in multiple cells, I have to keep on writing it multiple times. Why not store that value, the value I have stored this tutorials into this variable. This is nothing but a variable, this is the name of your memory location which will hold certain value. Now the value is nothing but text. Now what I have done is I have copy pasted here same value I've copy pasted except I've changed this numbers C1, C5, C7, C9 and inside that instead of this tutorials what I've done is I've added this variable 1 okay if you see variable 1, variable 1, var1, one, var1 one, everywhere. Now what does this var1 consist of? It consists of this text tutorials right. Now if I execute both will do the same task but for me to write this one is very easy as compared to writing this text. So if you see if I execute this part if I keep my cursor if I click on this step into, step into again and if I click on step into, A1 cell should contain now as tutorials. If you see here, again if I click on step into, A4 should contain tutorials. Again if I click on step into and if you see the value will keep on getting added. It will do the same task. Again if I click on step into, step into, right. Now if you see now C1 value that is var1, okay. If I just shift here, C1 should contain the value as var1 that is tutorials. Same it is working. Right? If I keep on clicking other places, so I'll get the same value. Now, which one is easy? You can tell me now. If I want to change instead of tutorials, if I want to write as point, so I have to change everywhere in all the places. So if I go to this place, okay, if I just move the screen so you can see that. Here if I want, I can write as P. Here if I want, I can just write as P. Okay, so you can see how much effort I have to take on keep on writing in this place. This are, these are just four statements. Imagine for four statements, I have to write four times. If there are 40 statements, it will take longer time. But here, instead of writing at the four places, I can just change here instead of tutorials, point, I have write as tutorials and I'll write as P itself. So the value in this variable has changed. So all these places, now the variable, uh, variable one value will be changed. So this one is very much easy for changing part, right? At any point of time, you can just change at one place and all the places it will be changed. Whereas at this place, every place you have to go and change everything, right? Now if you execute, it will show you the same answer. Now if you want to run at one place, you can just click on this run button and everything will be executed at one time, right? I'll just keep my cursor, click on this run, okay? So if you see here at the back end, everywhere you can see tutorials P, tutorials P and tutorials P, everywhere you can get it, right? So changing this one where the variable was used was easy as compared to the fixed value. These are rigid values. These are flexible values. That's a variable you have used, flexible values, right? So I'll just close it, right? So I hope you have understood what is a variable and what is the usage of variable. It is helpful to reduce your task, effort and money also. That's all for this video.